Hi, this is Stephen Barrow from Renton Valley Community College. This is for CI, CSIT 256, Computer Architecture and Assembly Language. Um, there's another video that's going to be the overview for Irvine Chapter 6 on Conditional Processing uh, and also showing the multiple um, files that are going to be up in Canvas and how to switch back and forth between them. Um, the file I'm in here, right now I'm in the one that says JC Unsigned. Um, and I did as a copy and pasted the contents into here. Um, let me go and run it. Um, and we'll, we'll take a look at what's going on uh, behind the scenes. So it's displaying population of China, 1.4 billion, population of India, 1.3 billion. Um, and then uh, adding those two together, uh, we're coming up with 2.8 uh, billion. Um, and in terms of, I do have these as unsigned D words. And remember, D words are allowed to be um, uh, uh, 4 billion, 4 billion and change. And so 2.8 uh, billion fits into 4 billion, and that's why um, um, this works. What I'm um, going to, to exaggerate is if I make this, um, um, 2.4 billion, and I make this 2.3 billion, that's 4.7 billion, which should be too much. Um, and when I run it, um, what I get is result too large. Well, that's my message. <laughs> and I'll, let me show you uh, how, I, how I got that there. So the, um, um, sorry, I scroll down to here. Um, when the add statement here takes place for adding into a, I'm sorry, I loaded in the EAX the population China, I add to it the population India. And then what I do is because I'm dealing with unsigned, because these are defined as D words, because I'm using these as unsigned, um, then I'm checking the carry bit as a way to logically see if the overflow took place. And if the carry bit is set, then what just happened right here is I'm going to the too big part, and the too big part, I'm going to just display the too big message. Um, if the JC, uh, or if the carry bit is not set, then this falls through, stores the sum of the population, and then displays that um, onto the screen. So uh, when we do have, in this case, the uh, you know, 4.8, um, and it runs, and it says that, uh, the result is too large. Let me put these back the way they were before, 1.4 and 1.3, um, and then run, and then there we get our 2.8 uh, billion. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, um, so again, if we're doing unsigned add, uh, we're doing unsigned add, we can check the carry bit to see if, if items are too big. What I want to switch gears to is related but different is signed numbers. So I have the same program, but what I'm doing here differently is I'm looking, I'm, I'm storing these as um, SD words. So signed D words, remember 2.1 billion is the largest the, uh, value that there, there can be for, for, um, for one of them. Um, and so if we add these two together and we come up with 2.8 billion, that's more than a signed D word can hold. We have to check a different carry bit when we're doing signed addition. We need to check the overflow bit. So when we're doing signed addition, we look at the um, overflow bit. When we're doing unsigned, we look at the carry uh, bit. And so this one here, if I run this one, <clears throat> so our 1.4 and our 1.3 billion, um, which is our 2.8, well, that's too large. It can't be held in a signed bit. Um, it's not a signed bit, a signed D word. Um, so um, the, the key thing I'm trying to show here is the um, checking for overflow. <clears throat> so for uh, unsigned, we do JC for signed, we do JO. And for any doubting Thomases, let's just, uh, um, 
I'm just going to remove a billion out of each one just so that they definitely will fit. And we'll see um, that, you know, it does work. They weren't overflowing um, at that point. Um, and actually, if I, if we're only off by, um, what was it? It was an eight. If I make that zero and make that zero. Okay. Um, what I'm just trying to show is that it's not that returning an error message that things are too big. It's just once we're hitting that um, um, over the maximum that a um, sign uh, D word can hold, uh, then it does the um, on the overflow. So coming back uh, again to the code. So there's going to be these two different samples um, loaded up into Canvas. One's the JC for unsigned. And so the variables we're dealing with are unsigned. And when we do the add, we're checking the carry bit to see if it's too big. The other example is the JO signed. <clears throat> These are signed D words. And after the add, we're checking the overflow bit to see if it's too big. Um, so uh, when we do the add, we have to be mindful of, are we adding signed or unsigned? Um, okay. I think that's good enough.